everybody. Did you know that June is dairy month? I would love to share another great dairy related activity with you today and when you get done you're going to have a really delicious treat. Today we're going to learn how to make ice cream in a bag. And so really all you need for this is two Ziploc bags, one quart size and one gallon size, some milk half and half or heavy whipping cream, some sugar, some vanilla. I have rock salt, but you can use any kind of coarse salt will really do just fine. And some ice. And you might want to have a towel with you. And so we're going to learn how to do this step by step. But I've also created a lesson plan for you to show you exactly how to do this. So first we're going to put our ingredients for our ice cream into the small Ziploc bag. And so this one is a quart size. And so what you need for this, and the recipe is on here, you need a quarter of a cup of sugar, which I have already pre-measured. You need a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And then you need a half a cup of whatever dairy product you have. So whole milk, half and half, heavy whipping cream. And you're just gonna pour that right in. Okay, now you need to make sure that you close the bag securely. And you're gonna try to get as much air out as you can, being really careful not to spill it. And now you're going to set that aside. Now we're going to take our large Ziploc bag, we're going to open it up, and we're going to add two cups of ice cubes. And that's really just kind of approximate, but you can add that. And you're going to add anywhere from a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of salt. Now here's where the really interesting chemistry happens. You could try to freeze it with just ice, but actually the salt is going to help your ice get colder. As the salt melts the ice cubes, it actually lowers the freezing temperature. So you're going to make ice cream more quickly. It's why we put salt on the roads in the wintertime uh, to help the ice melt. So now you're going to securely close this one and again try to get as much air out of it as you can. And because this is going to get really cold, we suggest that you wrap it in a towel. And so now you're going to get your workout. You're going to start shaking. And you're going to shake this mixture for anywhere from about five to ten minutes. So you're just going to keep shaking it and shaking it until your ice cream forms. Now you can also use two coffee cans. You can put your ingredients into the smaller coffee can. Put your small coffee can down inside the large one. Then put your ice and salt around it and actually roll it back and forth across the floor until the ice cream forms. So you're just going to keep shaking this and shaking this until it starts to get more salt. And after you've been doing this for about five minutes, you can check it to see what your are is. Alright, now it's time to check to see if our ice cream is ready. Now if your ice really melts when you're shaking it, you might need to add more ice. You might need to add a little bit of rock salt. And this is really gonna be more like soft serve ice cream, so it won't be very solidly frozen. But you can see in the bag here that it's gotten more solid. So you can just carefully open up that bag, take your spoon, and taste your ice cream. Mmm, that's so good. 
And so that's all there is to making your own treat at home. And you can just use just a few simple things and make yourself wonderful, tasty ice cream in a bag.